Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to another episode of Better Minecraft. In the last episode, we went on a mining adventure and found so much great loot, besides a couple of these items. We found so much loot. So much loot. And today, though, we have a special project. Today, we're going to be building ourselves our starter base. As much as I love the little apartment down here, I need my own base, let's be honest. So today, I'm going to go get the materials, and we're going to go build that said starter base. So for some of the materials that I want to use, I want to go travel over to here. Mainly, if I'm correct, this should be cherry wood. And that has this like kind of really blood red color that I love so much so we need to get that color for this build and then if we head over here onto this direction if I'm correct this is that kind of like mushroom looking trees I would like to get some of those as well so we're first gonna go travel to here through the power of editing can I ask you a favor could you consider subscribing it would help me out graciously if you could press that red button down below and consider liking the video because liking always helps editing we have arrived at our destination and I'm gonna showcase something that I don't think I've show showcased yet on the series a little mod where we can make it all just go <laughs> that's so great does that work with okay so it only works with single wide trees so we need to make them on ones like this oh my the you see the little lag spike that gives when you do that Oh my, that is so useful though, because we already have 45 cherry logs, that, that is great. I'm going to get a couple stacks of this, and I'm going to grab some of these saplings, because these saplings are going to be great for the future. Oh boy, that is so convenient. Okay, now that we got our building materials, that being the cherry log in the pine log, and a couple of other special items, we are going to be going over here. I like the color of green that we're getting from this, and it's pretty fa uh, flat land as well, so we have a lot of potential over here. And it's not that far either, it's only just straight that way past the village, so it's time to get over there to start building. What are you? Um... Oh, you're hostile. Okay. <laughs> no sorry, we don't need that lock. Um... Ooh. What did it give me? orc skin what can we do with orc skin what can be done with this um oh we might be able to make oh a dragon saddle okay that's cool okay so we got the basis building um plot land there <laughs> done so my goal here is to have a little roof going up and or down little little curve We'll also have in this area that we can just walk into. This this hopefully will be, un <laughs> be done today. So, we have a couple things a cooking. So we have our stone cooking so we can create some stone brick. And then we have what is going to be the roof block with polished granite. Well, I've decided to actually cut this part out entirely and just focus on this main part because we're already going to have a lot of room, a lot of real estate over here, just like this. Now, I, I don't think I'm going to keep it like this. Maybe? We'll have to see. Um, the main wood that I want to use on the inside is going to be this pine wood over here. Because we have a lot of it, so let's grab it on, wherever it is. There we go. Craft ourselves those beautiful, holy lord, <laughs> beautiful pine wood and then just start filling this in not there though yeah so i don't really like this whatsoever i i went to looking at it and i'm like yeah this is this does not look good so i have a new plan so i'm tearing all this granite down i'm fine with this basic shape as it is but i thought well i haven't really done a hobbit hole or something of that kind of fantasy nature before so i'm like oh how about I just put these down, still have a curve a little bit, and fill it in with dirt, even in the roof too. I think that would be really cool. 
something that I've never really done before. So we're gonna try that out. <laughs> something new for my liking. I think I actually really like that idea a lot better than what we were doing. So I'm gonna work on getting this chopped down, getting the basis of the building done, and then see what we can do to make it look all hobbity. Okay, I'm adding in the dirt here. Very, very simple part of this process here. So what I'm doing is basically just making a fake hill. Something that not really too many people are going to see outside of us if we go back here. And then once we oop, grab that piece of dirt, it'll basically start looking like this. I will try to make it look better on the sides here. We're not, I'm not sure. I, we do have this wood keeping it up, but I think it'll look more natural if we put some grounds going on this side and this side. I think that would look better. Like, we weren't able to get it all over there, so do we have any more dirt, or am I going to have to mine some? Okay, I'm going to have to mine some. Okay, so we got a little bit of an update here. I added the roof area. I swear you guys make me think you're Ill pillagers. But once I head up here, we have a little bit of a farming area that we can place up here. I really like it. This is something I've never really done before, making a little bit of hobbit hole kind of house and then having like a farm on top. I've never really done that before. And then we have a stairway down. I might change this to more of a proper wood, like an oak or a birch. We're just gonna have to see how that goes and how I like it. I'm, I'm gonna let it develop in my mind a little bit. Now I'm gonna go and build a little bit of a roof area just in front of here and here then I think this build should be complete. Okay, folks, after a little while, we finally have our finished starter base, and I loved how this turned out. We have a little hill going around the sides. We have a little bit of moss, a little pit of acacia trees everywhere, and I love how this hill is just shaped. I, I think this is my best hill, like custom terrain I've ever made. We replaced that cherry wood with this pine wood. It looks so much better, and we have a little bit of these cherry trees cherry blossom trees up here and I love it I love it now I think what I might do is add a little bit of other plants like uh, farm uh, base plants like seeds or like wheat or something like that up here I think I might do that in the future but we also have this surrounded in potential trees as they grow as you see some are starting to grow while also having some random plants everywhere I think this makes it look really really nice to walk through and soon all of these trees will be grown so we'll be ooh, my little snail but <laughs> soon this should be fully done i love it also if you didn't notice in the spot pack there's an azalea log awesome now we do i haven't done anything on the inside yet this will be in the future if you guys have any recommendations on what i should do if i should do some rooms or what would look best with this scheme here in the inside please let me know in the comments down below. But now that we have our official starter house built, it's time to show you guys a little bit of an adventure that I did in between the last episode and this episode. A, there was an editing error, so I only could keep so much of it. So this is me taking on the undead. Here we are at the pirate ship. Okay, so the fun part is trying to break into one of these. What I'm going to do is destroy these spawners. Because this is why I'm not seeing one there, so let's break in. Because I don't want to go up there. Okay, we've broken in. No, sir. Nope. Go. Oh. Okay, so they've gotten into my ship, um, my boat. That's not good. Um, okay, how much health do they have? Oh my. This is a little much, don't you think? Um, okay, we may have over not the situation. No. We don't need you here, sir. Yeah. Oh, now he's trying to follow me. Hopefully you drown there, sir. We don't need you. Um, it's so much easier if I could crit, man. 
I'll be back once I have a situ the situation handled. Hey, okay, I've been letting him just think down there. <laughs> but I finally broke the spawner that was spawning those guys. They were coming in like crazy amounts, so we got some coal. Some TNT and breadstone. I don't really need that. I will take this these blocks of coal. This will be useful for us in the future. Oh, there's a lot of it. Okay. I'll be back once I have all this mined up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I had died. But we did get back and got our loot back but um our boots are not looking too hot our boots dirty at night <laughs> oh we have one more Ooh, more iron we'll take, we'll take the nether quartz that can come handy and we have some more skulls so that is about it for the pirate ship i thought it was gonna be like the last series i did where there was just a bit more a lot more cool loot i am getting away from you sir that was a unique adventure. We did gain uh, gain some unique items from that, like a couple of enchanting books, so a lot of coal, and some more diamonds. I hope you guys enjoyed those clips because those were fun to make, and this was fun to build. I am starting to really love it as the, these trees start to grow, oh, like that one. And if you guys enjoyed today's episode, consider, consider subscribing. Why? Well, if you subscribe, you get access to all this great content on this channel we're on the goal to 1000 subscribers for the end of the year and your subscription would help out greatly consider liking the video because liking always helps and comment down below cherry wood because we can't have so much cherry wood like look at this look at this i'll see you guys in episode four